Today we're going to be downloading and installing Mumble server, or client rather, for Digital Asset Death clan server and configurations on how to get on to it. So right now I have a virtual box and let me just full screen this real quick and we're going to pretend that it's a brand new operating system with Mumble not installed so you can see step by step. First thing we want to do is open up our client. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Firefox. Explore any browser you want to use. Uh, go ahead and type in Mumble Client, M U M B L E C L I E N T, and click search. And you will see mumble.sourceforge.net. Go ahead and click that, it's usually the very first one. Now, since we're all playing Combat Arms, we want to go ahead and hit the Windows version, 1.2.3 stable. Go ahead and click that for the download and hopefully uh, the server will kick it out to us in a reasonable time sometimes SourceForge is very overloaded so we're going to click save file as you can see here I already had one downloaded but I want to do a fresh video for you guys so eh, it doesn't take too long as you can see depends on your bandwidth and things like that it may take 30 seconds to two minutes so once we have that we can go ahead and close it out and you want to remember where you save your files or you just run it from there uh, but most of the time with most computers now if you're running Windows 7 you have a download folder under your start menu in computer and click downloads and there's the file mumble 1.2.3 so let's go ahead and double click on that click run close that out and we click next click I accept terms the license agreement it's open source great stuff actually runs better on Linux for the server portion and let's go ahead yeah, like there was any doubt let's go ahead and where it says mumble backwards compatible client click on that and hit the entire feature will be unavailable we don't need it for our clan if you're connecting to somebody else's server you may want to install it just in case uh, so let's go ahead and click next and then click install and I will get a UAC annoyance here in a moment and just click yes and it will continue the install now if you don't have UAC it'll just go automatically let's go ahead and click finish and you will see now you have a mumble icon on your desktop go ahead and double click that and it should pop up and you will see these two things right here this is your main background this is your connector so don't freak out what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little triangle right here next to public internet and it's gonna close the tree and then we're gonna click add new down at the bottom you see connect add new and cancel click add new and this is where we put in the information to connect to the server so what you do is you label it however you want to label it uh, digital acid death after the clan you want to put in your address get this from your administrator um, for any server you're connecting to so we're going to use one here that's set up specifically for the video all right and the port you want to get your port as well the default port for mumble is six four seven three eight but we are using three seven eight four which is going to be the ventrilo port and then your username let's go with uh, bobby 420 that'll work for today and click OK. Now that you've done that, you will see that you have a favorite which says Digital Acid Death. Okay, go ahead and highlight that and click Connect, or you can just double click it. First thing that pops up is Server Presents a Certificate which failed. Don't worry about anything, just click Yes. It's very important you click Yes. Now it's going to prompt you for a password. Make sure you read what the warning says because sometimes you may have a bad username. So for the password, you get that also from your administrator. And you type that in and click connect. And then presto, you are connected to your Mumble server. And to start talking to people, you join the channels. Now on our server, we have uh, policies and procedures in place. That's a whole other video some other time. You do have access to the lobby area where people can talk to you there. Um, so what we want to do first is in order to get your privileges, you need to register. So you click on your name and you want to right click and go to register and click register. Now when it does, it's going to pop up something. Just click yes or OK. I'm not actually going to register this because I don't want it on the server. So the next thing we need to do is configure some things for you. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to settings. And we're going to go to push to talk. 
user interface shortcuts click on shortcuts and you have your push to talk right here which uh, is already configured for the alt button however um, it may not configure for you so what you have to do is press add and it says unassigned click unassign click the drop down select push to talk and then select your shortcut so we're just going to say mouse button zero works for me whatever so however you want to put that in there now one that's very important that you set up is deafen self so click add again go to unassigned click the drop down and then go to deafen self this is when people on your server are annoying the piss out of you you can mute them all and you don't have to worry about hearing it um, at the same time you will not be able to talk either so it's a pretty good button uh, this one you want to click under data and make sure it says toggle and then put whatever key you want in there like the spacebar so um, but that should pretty much get you connected to the server now once you're here um, we will get you configured and you'll be able to talk and then we can do some advanced configurations for uh, say hands-free headsets or tuning your microphone a little bit better trust me we'll let you know now there is a, a thing that you will go through it's called the audio wizard the first time I'm not sure why it didn't pop for us but just click next click next this you want to drop to about 20 milliseconds um, read what it says actually um, then click next this one here for volume tuning just kind of ignore it and click next for voice activity this is where you can select push to talk and then select your button and then click next and then it'll say balanced and go ahead and click next and if you use headphones check it if you don't you know who cares check it anyway and then click next and then uncheck the submit anonymous statistics because that's default um, you want to uncheck it take the check away and then click finish and you're good to go that will conclude the video for now if you have any further questions please uh, get me on the combat arms server uh, oh actually it's it's not all because combat arms actually conflicts with mumble in order to keep your game from crashing you need to go to settings and then come down to overlay and click it'll look like enable overlay and what you want to do is you want to uncheck it make sure it's unchecked so if that button has a check mark when you log into combat arms you will crash okay so if you have any questions feel free to hit me up on combat arms digital 420 other than that we are good to go